It's 2024 and it's time to take a look at some of the best cheap RC cars you can buy. I love putting these top 10s together because it can be a difficult task trying to work out which cheap RC car is the best to buy as there are literally hundreds of options out there and there is so much to consider when you're getting into the RC hobby. So let's get straight on with it and let's take a look at number 10. At number 10 we have the FTX Gladius and this is the first time I'm including a crawler on a top 10 list. Now this truck features exactly the same stuff as the Traxxas TRX4 for half the price. That's right, this beast of an RC crawler slash trail truck features lockable and unlockable diffs, and they're remotely activated using the transmitter, a two-speed transmission, and in high gear, the truck is actually pretty quick, and it's ideal for getting you around your favorite trail. This truck is incredibly capable off-road, handling many different types of terrain, and it will easily handle your favorite trail. This is a complete ready-to-run package, and whilst they only include a nickel metal high drive battery in the box this is more than enough to get you up and running the ftx gladius has an epic looking body and although it's pretty basic it does feature some nice detail now i'm not the biggest fan of crawling myself i'm much more into bashing but i wanted to include this truck on this list and again like i said earlier it offers everything the trx4 does for half the price and because this truck is almost identical in design to the trx4 there's even some parts out there which are interchangeable and i think it's for the best no one tells traxxas at number nine we have the awesome looking hbx mini drift car which is known as the 2103 now this little car is small and cheap and it's so much fun and being a high boxing it's incredibly durable i had a lot of fun with this one when i reviewed it but i will say it's not as capable as a couple of the cars higher up on this list this also doesn't offer the same build quality and it doesn't drive as nice as the other two cars higher up on this list but we have to remember it is half the price this one definitely features more plastic and it does feel cheaper the 2103 is also brushed and it isn't as powerful as the mjx cars once again this is a ready to run package featuring everything you need in the box to get you up and running now this is still an excellent option for someone looking for some cheap indoor or outdoor fun on a smooth surface moving on to number eight and we have the armor granite grom this truck is 1 18th scale and for the first time we have seen a small scale rc car from the guys at armor this truck is great fun and very well built considering its size but it does have one major problem and that is the price it's not cheap and considering its small size this has been quite a controversial option in the cheap and budget rc world now when you look at the price of the upgrades and a decent brush this system it can quickly become a very expensive cheap rc car all of that said it's still an incredible little machine but at this price i would have liked to have seen a brushless system included right out the box i would love to place this higher up on the list but unfortunately i can't and that is due to its price if armor could find a way to make this truck slightly cheaper i think it's a very good option or if not offer us just a little bit more out the box for the current price at number seven we have the new rolalo omni terminator this is already one of the most talked about rc cars of the year and there is a good reason for that and rolalo are quickly becoming one of the best and more premium premium cheaper RC brands out there. They're constantly innovating and bringing new designs to the table instead of just recycling old designs and rebranding. And that's something we see quite a lot with some of the other cheap RC brands. Rolalo sent me the fully loaded carbon fiber version, which includes a huge feature list. Some of the standout features on this truck include the carbon fiber center brace, carbon fiber reinforced suspension arms, 7075 shock towers, really nice metal adjustable shocks with shock cap protectors an adjustable motor mount and the carbon fiber version even includes an upgraded motor and ESC compared to the standard metal version I tested this truck out on its stock gearing right out the box on 2s and on 3s and considering this is a pretty heavy and well-built truck I was very pleased with those speeds of course you can
can achieve even more if you fit the speed pinion. Off-road the truck handled incredibly well and it always felt planted. This was incredibly challenging terrain with some huge rocks but the truck with its incredibly plush suspension it did an amazing job. So if this truck is so great why is it so far down this top 10 cheap RC car list? Well there are two reasons. Firstly the price and secondly the size of this truck. Let's talk about the price first. Now this truck is currently being offered at the pre-sale price of $249.99 US dollars and that is around £196 and the price for the carbon fibre version is set to increase to $329.99 or £260 which is a lot of money for a 1 12th scale RC truck and this is definitely not 1 tenth scale that we all hope for this is a lot smaller than some of the other popular trucks out there. I think the price should stay at the pre-sale price which makes this truck appealing to a lot of people but once they increase the price to $329 I'm not sure it's going to do as well as Rolalo were hoping as this truck will be the same price as another epic truck featured higher up on this list. And guess what that truck has better part support and it's a bit bigger. Now I do have to give Rolalo credit, they have done a great job with this, but when does a cheap RC car just become a little bit too expensive? And I think the Omni Terminator may be the perfect example of this. And before we take a look at number six, I wanna to talk to you about Raffle. I'm gonna be giving one lucky viewer the chance to win this Rolalo Omni Terminator for as little as two pounds. That's right, you can win this amazing truck. All you need to do is use the link in the description below, head over to Raffle and grab a couple of tickets to be in for a chance of winning. Now this is the first time I've done this on my channel and depending on how this raffle performs, I may do more in the future. And because this video is going to be relevant for pretty much all of 2024, if you are watching this after the raffle was completed, it's still worth checking out the link down below because I may have decided to do more of these in the future. Definitely check it out. So good luck if you do enter and thanks for supporting the channel. Moving on, let's take a look at number six. And at number six, we have the Maverick Quantum 2 Flux. And the good news is Maverick have made so many changes to this platform and this new truck offers so much for the money. Now I like this truck a lot and I would definitely say it's one of the best ways into the RC hobby if you're looking for a 1 tenth scale truck which is also 3S ready and incredibly capable off-road, on the dirt and on taller grass. Now for a long time the team associated rival MT10 was probably the best 3S basher you could buy. Unfortunately this is a little bit more expensive now and not everyone's willing to pay over £300 to get into the RC hobby. And that is where the Maverick Quantum 2 Flux comes in because this one is quite a bit cheaper than this. And looking at both of these trucks, I think I like the Maverick better. Now that said, all the people out there who have one of these, you know how good it is and you know it's one of the most durable cars around. I just wish it was still a little bit cheaper. So Maverick have done a great job with the styling of this truck. They've also improved the body to make it even stronger. You will need to provide your own battery and charger and that is going to increase price a little bit. At number five, we have the Armour Mega Boost range. The Armour Mega Boost range is an affordable way into the hobby with plenty of options to upgrade as you go, such as a 4x4 conversion kit and a brushless kit. These trucks are just as stylish as their BLX counterparts, but they are so much slower out the box as they feature a brushed electronic system. Some beginners, especially adults starting with one of these boost trucks, may get bored almost instantly because they are incredibly slow. For that reason, I would say they're better suited to kids and my five-year-old loves his scent and boost, which I have now converted to brushless and four-wheel drive. The process is incredibly easy and like I said, Armour offer kits to do this. Now, if you're an adult starting in the hobby I would say wait a little bit longer save up a bit more and just go for the BLX because it may cost you more in the long run should you decide to make all the upgrades now this is a tried and tested platform and parts are available everywhere which is a huge selling point for a lot of people moving on to number four and we have the HBX 901A 
This is one of my favourite 1 12 scale RC cars of all time. It's lightweight, being made mostly out of plastic, and that's not a bad thing, as the plastics on high boxing cars are incredibly durable and they always take a beating. It does have metal gears, metal drive shafts, ball bearings throughout, and really nice oil filled shocks, so please don't think this is a toy grade RC truck because it's not. The included brushless system is nice and powerful and it can even handle 3S. Although some people have had issues running theirs on 3S, I can't say I ever have, and I enjoy running mine on 3S every other week. Now I've been running this truck for a couple of years and you can see how battered and bruised it is, but I've never replaced anything. Now on the right here, we have the Rolalo AMD 12, which again is a fantastic and capable truck. It's probably one of the best out there, but I've actually replaced quite a lot on this one. And although this is better quality, it is a bit heavier, and in a crash, I find I always break something. Whereas on this, being lightweight, it never seems to break. Now this is a pretty quick truck on 2S, also on 3S. Off-road, this truck also performs really well. The electronics feel really good, and it also steers really nicely. I really like this truck, and it's a great option for people who like desert buggies. Prices have also remained pretty low, and spares are available everywhere, as lots of brands have adopted this design and rebranded the truck in many locations. At number three, we have the MJX Hypergo 14301, which is an armor infraction inspired RC car. There's also a Lancia Delta inspired version, which is known as the 14302. Both of these are essentially the same car with a different body. I reviewed both of these cars last year, and they're one of the most memorable cars I featured on the channel, and that is because they were epic. For the money everything's included in the box and you even get three different sets of tires performance is insane for a 1 14th scale platform and these cars are even 3s ready taking you up to some pretty insane speeds like this speeds like that on a 1 14th scale platform well that is insane these cars are also incredibly stable thanks to the included gyro and that does help to keep the car nice and steady at high speed and it will also assist you when it comes to drifting now these cars are designed to be run on road and they're not as versatile as the number one option on this list. At number two, we have the FTX Tracer or High Boxing 16889. Both of these trucks are essentially the same. They're just rebranded. No top 10 list is complete without this truck. For years, it's been one of the best cheap RC cars due to it being ultra durable. It's easy to transport and lots of upgrades are available, making it a great option for people getting into the hobby. Now, as mentioned earlier, high boxing trucks are incredibly durable so many people take them to skate parks and they always seem to survive if you're in the uk spares are now available everywhere in pretty much every uk hobby shop and that's because ftx decided to rebrand the hbx and ftx spares are very easy to get hold of in the uk they're also super cheap I would suggest going for the Pro Brushless version as it has all the upgrades right out the box, including metal upgrades like oil filled shocks and drive shafts. These are things you will pretty much want to upgrade almost straight away on the basic version. So it makes sense to just spend a little bit more and get the fully loaded version straight away. For the money, these trucks are almost perfect and they're very hard to beat, but there is one truck which is still the ultimate cheap RC King in 2024. And if you didn't guess already, which truck I'm talking about, it has to be the MJX Hypergo Truggy. And when I reviewed this truck last year, I was so incredibly surprised as to how good this truck actually was. It's incredibly good on-road and it's also really good off-road. This is easily one of the most versatile, durable, fast and enjoyable RC trucks ever made and MJX have priced it just right. It ticks every box for anyone looking to get into the hobby. Now, once again, MJX offer this as a complete ready to run package and everything you need to get you up and running is included in the box. They even include a set of paddle tires. This is why I love MJX. They go above and beyond to give their customers lots of little extras to make the experience so much better. The brushless electronics are great and very good quality. The shocks feel amazing. And this truck is loaded with metal components. This is a very well-built truck 
and it definitely deserves its place at the number one spot. So you may be wondering how fast does this truck go on 2S and on 3S? So pretty quick considering the size of this truck. After reviewing this truck last year, one of the biggest issues a lot of people had was parts availability. And so many people were put off of this truck because you couldn't get easy parts. Well, I've got some really good news if you're in the UK. Sirius RC now has in stock all of the MJX trucks and they also carry all of the spares. This means you can feel confident buying one of these trucks knowing parts are available within days. They even have in stock a 2200 milliamp hour 50C 3S pack, and that is exclusively available at Sirius RC. And that battery will easily fit in all of the 114th scale MJX trucks without modification. And this will mean you will get the best performance and runtime out of your MJX cars. So there's no more waiting two weeks or more for spare parts if you're living in the UK. If you want to check out Sirius RC, I will leave some links down below. Fantastic work MJX, this thing is a beast and it's still the best cheap RC car you can currently buy. Now this list is based on my opinion, you may not agree with my choices and if you don't, drop a comment down below and let me know which card you would put at the number one spot. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have got so much planned for 2024, you won't wanna miss out. And finally, if you want a chance at winning the Omni Terminator, don't forget to head over to Raffle. Cheers for watching, see you on the next one. Take care.